What's good, teachers? I know what you're gonna say. It's not working! Oh, no. So this is a follow-up to a video that I did a little while ago about how to um, make a document camera while you're in a Zoom or a Google Meet. And I recommended this thing called the Epoch Cam or Epic Cam. And uh, for some of you, the app worked. And for some of you, the app didn't work. And I apologize to you that for those of you that it didn't work and for everybody now that it's not working. So um, Zoom just released an update a few days ago and they got rid of this feature called virtual cam. So this virtual cam allowed you to um, hook up an external camera and use it as a document camera. And that's what the, the Epic Cam app would do and it's no longer there. So you have two options. One of them is you can keep watching this video and the other one is you can uninstall Zoom and in reinstall the version that was before um, the update, which is what I did. And I'll show you in just a second. That's the simple quick fix, easy. Um, I'm gonna do this in three parts because I have some other recommendations for you that might help a few of you, and um, I will show you some alternative ways that you can achieve the same thing. Because I know as teachers, we are trying to teach our kids, and um, we just need these tools, right? Okay, they're all free if you own the right equipment. Oh, no. The stand. I linked the stand in the description but so many of you guys have been messaging me about where'd you get that stand? What is that stand called? How big is it? So this is the stand. Um, it weighs about, I don't know, five pounds. And this right here is 14 inches and it's made for a mini iPad or iPhone. You could put an iPhone on here too. All right, and it turns, this is on a, um, there's a ball that you can adjust there. And this is a hinge right here, and then there's another hinge here, and then the, the bottom rotates as well, okay? So, um, it's pretty sturdy. It's made out of steel. There's little plastic inserts right here. Um, but, I don't know, it works for, for what I'm doing. But, I will link this in the description, okay, you guys? It costs, I think, like 20 or 30 bucks. It's very, uh, relatively inexpensive. And that is the stand. If, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have 30 bucks and you don't wanna spend that on something that you're only gonna use occasionally, just make your own, it's so easy. You could use a stack of books. I made this thing out of a box, a chip box, where I just uh, cut out this little notch right here. You put the phone right on top of here and then you can write right here. Um, I cut out a couple more holes, so if you like, if you if you want to use it this way, you can. It's just uh, you know, get creative. It's just uh, something you just need something to elevate your your device so that you can project it on the ground, hands free, and then be able to write with. Okay, that is the stand. <laughs> Next, this is an alternative way to the Epoch Cam, which works without changing any of the update, and it's already built into Zoom. I think they released this in August or September of last year, and this allows you to AirPlay your iPhone to the um, to a shared screen. So if you uh, wanted to share your screen and you had it on your your stand, so you had your iPad or your iPhone up here, you can AirPlay the signal to Zoom and just share your screen. So that looks like this. Okay guys, so as I was saying, if you are using the Epoch or Epic Cam app and it's no longer there, you're going to need to uninstall Zoom and reinstall Zoom from before the update. 
I'll put a link in the description below if that is your preferred method. If it was working for you, why, you know, why change anything, right? <laughs> okay, um, if you click on here and you have the new update, you probably only see your um, FaceTime camera if you have a Mac or your webcam, right, your laptop. That's the only thing that shows up right there. But you can see right now, since I uninstalled and I reinstalled the older version, I now have everything that uh, I like to use. All right, so that is an easy fix for you. Here is another one, okay. If you have a, um, an iPhone, if you have an iPhone, you know that you can AirPlay, right? Um, they call it screen mirroring. So if you click on screen mirroring, uh, actually first you need, this is the step that you need to take. So prior to letting any of your children or your students into your, your Zoom call, click on this button, share screen, go over here to iPhone AirPlay, click share, okay? Now it says, a plugin is required to share an iPhone iPad screen. So let's install it. All right, then you get this screen that says, uh, connect to Wi-Fi, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Um, tap on the screen mirroring, and then you can see it pops up, right? So from here, the only thing you do is click on your, your camera, and then let me grab my stand, hold on a second. Place it wherever you want to do your work. So that is alternative method number one, okay? Um, and that will work with the phone or iPad as well. You can also tether it. So if your battery runs out really quickly, uh, you can plug it in and then plug it into your uh, laptop and then it will work that way as well. Okay, so that is built into Zoom and, and really, I mean, it was like one of those duh moments for me where, why didn't I think of that before? You just, anyways, what you, you would do is just share your screen, share the AirPlay or the, the signal from your phone or iPad, and then you would use that as your document camera. So if you were plugged in like this, tethered, you do the same thing. You'd click on screen, sh share screen, and then you would click on this one that has the little wire attached to it, okay? You, using your iPhone or iPad, you can easily share the screen so that you can use that as a document camera. That setting was already there. It's available in the new update as well. Um, so use it if it's there, okay? It's super easy. <music> So if your district does not allow you to use Zoom and you're still using something like Google Meet, this method will work, but you have to have a Mac. Um, I, I work in the Apple ecosystem, so I know a little bit about PCs, but I know for sure this will work with a Mac, okay? So if it will also work on Zoom. I know this is getting kind of convoluted, However, if you have a Mac and you don't use Zoom, but you use something like Google Meet, this will work for you, okay? This is how you do it. Open up QuickTime Player. Go over here to File. Hit New Movie Recording, okay? It's a new movie recording, and it opens up a window like this, right? If you go over here to this little drop down arrow next to the record button and you click on it, you see all of your input um, choices, right? So over here, you can choose your, um, your phone, as you can see right here. See, phone? So you click on your phone and it's gonna ask, do you trust this computer? Well, of course I trust this computer and then you unlock it in a similar fashion. So you have your phone displayed right there, correct? 
All right, so let's leave that alone. We're gonna put that over here. Over here, let's start a new meeting. There's the phone. Let's start a new meeting. We're gonna hit join. We're going to actually switch the camera. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is your webcam that you're using, your meeting, da 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 da, with your kids. And you're like, okay, kids, I'm going to show you how to add fractions. And so you go over here to present now, in the bottom right. You're going to click on present now. You're going to say, oh, I just want to share a window. So you click on window. It's going to say, which window do you want to choose? And you're going to choose movie recording. So this is your QuickTime movie player, and it's acting as your doc cam does that work for everyone so you're presenting to everybody and da 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 there's your thing and you're writing right now da, da 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 and then when you're done writing or whatever you're doing you hit stop and it goes back to your webcam so there you go that is how you would use a doc cam um, on a Mac inside Google Meet. Okay? Simple, easy way for you. Um. Okay. The final way that you guys can do this is to simply just get a wired webcam. Good luck finding one of those on Amazon. Or you can go get your uh, document camera from your classroom and you can plug that in. If by chance you happen to have an extra webcam or document camera you can use that as well okay it will show up as another camera option in your settings if you're in Google Meet so you go to video you click on all the different cameras you have and you can see this is a, a webcam so webcam on the Google Meet if you're on a Zoom call, same thing. It's going to show up as another camera. La la. So you would do the same thing that you used with the Epic Cam. You would switch camera settings right here in order to do your um, your document camera. So lots of options for you if, if anything you should feel like man that there's lots of ways to do this I just have to find the way that works best for me okay all right and for those of you that are using a Chromebook um, your options are super limited so um, see what works for you let me know in the comments all right you guys so that is an update to my previous video Again, if you are using the Epoch Cam or the Epic Cam, then you need to go back to the previous version of Zoom to get it to work. And if you don't want to do that, you can use the AirPlay function of your iPhone or iPad, or you can use <laughs> the QuickTime movie feature that will get the job done too. So there's many, many ways that you guys can do this don't give up guys don't lose hope you know we're doing this for the kids right and we're doing the best that we can and I know that you're doing the best you can so give yourself a little grace and know that you're trying your best I mean we're, we just we, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here I know a lot of you guys need that function so many comments on the last video were from music teachers ah music teachers didn't even think about that right Music teachers need to be able to show notation and show their hands and everything while they're teaching stuff like this. So I hope that this video is also a big help to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to share this video with whoever, whomever you, you think might, it, it might help because we're all in this together, right? We're trying to help each other. So if you need any help with anything else, please let me know. Oh, there was another thing. A lot of people were um, trying to figure out how to do this with a Chromebook. The only 
way I think this might work with a Chromebook is if you plugged in a webcam and used it as a dock cam or plugged in a document camera. That's the only way I can think of doing this with a Chromebook. Get yourself a MacBook. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.